Hello. You might have heard about this all widespread COVID pandemic. So it goes everywhere. And it's one of the few diseases you know, like recently that we don't have a cure for or can't do anything. And you might be very worried. But the fact is, you should be even more worried because there has been a disease that's been going around for like a very, very long time. And it's called rabies. So you might have heard of it. Yeah, I know what rabies is. It's not that dangerous. It is very dangerous. If you don't treat it, it can kill you, but not fast. Because once it gets into the stage of its like, you could say, I don't know what to call it, but you could just call it its killer phase. When it enters that, you are dead. There's no treatment, no nothing that can save you. And it's a slow killer because there are no known symptoms. At least, like most of the time, there are no symptoms until you're, it's already too late. And then the symptoms starts and you're gone. So it's rabies. It spreads in animals and when they bite you, it goes through their saliva into your body. So it goes in, it, a dog or maybe even a bat because a dog bite you? No, oh no, a dog bit me. I have to go get vaccinated. I need to get treatment before it actually spreads. But when a bat bites you, a lot of the time you don't even notice. And then you're stuck. So it tries to find a way to go to its destination. And where is the destination? Your brain. Because if it can get to your brain, it can slowly infect you from the inside out. It can tell your cells what to do. So it essentially hijacks your body. So it gets into the nervous system and it tries to find a way to the neurons. And the neurons are like the cell wires and transmitters that transmit information from different parts of your body to your brain and all around you. All around your body, not all around you. <laughs> so when it hijacks those, it gets to them and your immune system can't really do anything to stop them because they don't notice it. They don't even notice it. So it just goes through and it's there. And then it infects your neurons. So normally, there is a thing called a killer T cell, or at least that's what I think it's called. So it goes after all of the infected cells and it tells them to either self-destruct so that it doesn't keep creating more and more viruses or bacterium or fungi or whatever. So this is a vital stage in the plan. Your normal cells can also tell the killer T cells to self-destruct. And now that may seem weird. Why would a normal cell tell, tell, tell your immune system to stop? Because if these cells go viral and they just go around here and there and they, and they literally become insane, they can ruin your brain and eat up every cell. So that's why there is a way for them to just stop. And the rabies virus, it just goes into this and it just destroys everything. It makes the killer T cells think to self-destruct and then there's no, no one stopping them from going to your brain. So it completely disarms your security and it has a clear path to your brain. Now, how long does this take? It can take several months, weeks, or even years to get to your brain. And during that time, you still have a couple of options. But if it gets there, it gets to your brainstem and it destroys everything. So you do not want to get to that state. It can cause paralysis and like this thing called brain swelling. It just makes your brain swell inside of your head. And that's not good and it ultimately kills you. So there are patients that are still in this phase, but they still don't feel it until it's too late. So like they take, the scientists and the doctors take brain scans. They scan your brain to see if there's anything wrong. In a study they found, there is almost zero brain damage when rabies attacks you. And when it does do brain damage, you're already dead. So you can't stop it, or can you? There is a way to stop it. And it's one of the most common things, a vaccine. 
So you've heard about the COVID vaccine, you've heard about this, you've heard about that, and they're all very necessary. So why would you want to take the rabies vaccine? Well, because it protects you, obviously. And there are certain medicines to stop rabies while it's still trying to go there, but they're not that effective. The vaccine is the best way you can stay safe. And the best part is, have you ever heard, uh, like, you can't take a vaccine after, after you've been sick. You can't do that. Like, if you got COVID, you can't take the vaccine after. You have to take it beforehand. Like the flu, you can't have the flu and then take the vaccine. It's not a cure, it's a prevention. But the rabies vaccine is different because the rabies is so slow. It's just so slow in trying to get to your brain. You can even get the vaccine after you've been infected. And it still works perfectly. So that's the best thing. A lot of diseases were never eradicated. Like whooping cough, I think. Because parents didn't want their children to get this vaccine thing back in the day. So no one wanted to do that. And a lot of people got vaccinated and then the last few didn't. And then we still have all these diseases. So the lesson is you should always get vaccinated and you have to trust the vaccine or else the rabies could get you. And on a side note, you know what happens when a dog or a fox or any mammal that can be infected gets rabies? It goes around and the saliva contains rabies and it goes around trying to bite people and it's afraid of water for some reason. So it turns your brain into a zombie and a lot of dogs, bats, mammals, all of them have been like, it's so widespread, a dog bites a human and they get rabies. So the same behavior applies to humans too. Unfortunately, there are no human zombies walking around trying to bite other people because uh, that behavior doesn't happen in humans a lot. So the virus doesn't go that far in trying to get humans to bite other humans, but it certainly does work on mammals to bite other mammals. So be careful, I guess. And also take the vaccine. Thanks, bye.